click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the numerical based on row elimination method. Reduce the number of states from given state diagram with the use of row elimination method. Row elimination method is one of the method of state reduction technique. The state reduction techniques are used to reduce the number of states while designing the circuit. Ultimately, the complexity reduces if the number of states are reduces. So, with the help of row elimination method, we will solve the given problem. So, let's discuss the state diagram of a given problem. So, we will draw here the given state diagram for simplification with the use of row elimination method. So, I am going to draw here given state diagram for simplification purpose. These are all the states A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Now, I am mentioning the next state and the respective output for the state. So, this is your state diagram. You have to reduce the state with the use of row elimination method. So, I will use here row elimination method. to reduce the number of states. Now, the first step is to draw the state table. And after that, you have to reduce the states inside the state table. And you have to find the final stages of state table. So, we will draw here the state table. State table consists of present state, next state and the output. It should be derived from the given state diagram. So I will write here present state, then next state and output y. The next state you have to consider for two cases x equals to 0, x equals to 1 and output also you have to derive for x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. Now you have to fill the present states. So if you see here the given state diagram you have a, b, c, d, e, f and g all are the present states. You have to calculate the next state when x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. So, this first 0 defines the next state and this lower 0 defines the output. Now, we will start filling the next state and the respective output. So, we will start with for present state A, you have to focus on A. The next state for x equals to 0 is what? This is A and this is the next state for x equals to 0. It is again given to the A. So, next state is A and the output is 0 for x equals to 0. After that, for x equals to 1, that is this 1, next state is what? B. And output here is what again? 0. In this way, you have to complete the table for each state. Now, we will focus on state B. This is your state B. 
for x equals to 0, next state is C and output is 0. Again, when x equals to 1, next state is D and output is 0. Now, present state C. When x equals to 0, next state is A, output is 0. And when x equals to 1, next state is D, output is again 0. For D, for x equals to 0, next state is E, output is 0. And for x equals to 1, next state is F, output is 1. For E, next state is A for x equals to 0, output is 0 and for x equals to 1, next state is F, output is 1. For F, x equals to 0, next state is G, output is 0. And when x equals to 1, next state is f, output is 1. For g, when x equals to 0, next state is a, output is 0. And for x equals to 1, next state is f, output is 1. So, in this way, you have to complete the table considering the present state next state and output y with the use of given state diagram you have to derive the state table now you have to apply the row elimination method to reduce the number of state so if you see here you have to search for the matching outputs and matching next state so if you see here this state E, you have AF01 and G AF01. So these two rows are same. So we can say that states E and G are same. So, we will eliminate the last row and we will update the table with the use of row elimination method. So, we will draw here the next updated table. Again, this table consists of present state, next state and output y. We have to write for x equals to 0, x equals to 1 and output also x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. We are going to eliminate this G row. So we will write here again A, B, C, D, E and F. And respective outputs for the next state. When x equals to 0, next state is A. And when x equals to 1, it is b. After that, we have c, d, a, d, e, f, a, f, and g, f. And outputs here are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1. In this way, you have to update your table. Now, we have eliminated the row G. So, G we have eliminated. E and G are same. So, we will replace this G by E. Because there is no presence of G now. Now, again, you have to find the similar outputs. So if you see here this EF01 is same, here also EF and outputs are 
same means these two rows are same now d and f so you will write here states d and f are same so we can eliminate the row f with the use of row elimination method so again we will update our table it consists of present state again we have to draw the state table the next state for x equals to 0 x equals to 1 output y for x equals to 0 x equals to 1 we will write present state a b c d and e f row we are going to eliminate here and the next state we will write here a b c d a d e f and a f and the outputs are 0 0 0 0 again we have 0 0 0 1 and 0 1 here state d and f are same so we have eliminated state f here we can write eliminate state f and this is your new state table now we don't want f now we have concluded that d and f are same so this two f we are going to replace with what d and this will give you the updated state table now again row elimination method you have to apply to this table. Now we have to find out again the same rows. So we will check here. AB is there? No. CD is there? No. AD is there? Yes. A and D are there. But the outputs are not same. Means here we have to again check for ED no there is no presence of similar states like e and d so we can conclude that we have to stop here up to this table you have to draw the state tables now after getting this last table we can't compare and we can't eliminate so we have to stop here after this state table you have to draw the reduced state diagram considering the table number 3. This is your table 3, this is your table 2 and this becomes your table 1. Now here how many present states are present? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So with the use of these five present states you have to again design the state diagram so we will draw here state diagram now we will draw here the state diagram with the use of table number three this becomes your present state a this is B, C, D and this becomes your E. Now, while drawing the state, you have to focus on when x equals to 0, next state is A. So, we will write here, next state is A. When x equals to 0, next state is A and output is also 0. So, we will write 0 slash 0. Now, when x equals to 1, next state is B and the output is again 0 so we will write here 1 slash 0 now present state is b we have to focus on b when x equals to 0 next state is c 
so when x equals to 0 next state is c and output is also 0 when x equals to 1 next state is d so we will write here 1 output is 0 according to the state table now we have to focus on c when x equals to 0 next state is what a and output is also 0 so we will draw like this when x equals to 1 next state is d so we will draw here like this and output again is 0 so we will write 1 dash so we will write 1 slash 0 now we are going to focus on d when x equals to 0 next state is e and output is also 0 when x equals to 1 next state is d and output is 1 so we will write 1 slash 1 now we will focus on what state e when x equals to 0 next state is a and output is also 0 when x equals to 1 next state is d and output is also 1 so we will write 1 slash 1 in this way considering all the present state you have to design the state diagram this is the reduced state diagram with the use of row elimination method this approach you have to design with the use of state table you have to again draw the state diagram this is all about the numerical based on the row elimination method thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda